It's the Lakes Area's Most Wanted. We are cleaning up the criminals in our area and need your help. Have you seen any of these people? Marvel Eugene Bell, age 22. He's 5 feet 5 inches tall, 170 pounds with brown eyes and black hair. He's wanted for several misdemeanors for issuing checks with non-sufficient funds. Daniel Lloyd Barton, age 35. He's 5 feet 10 inches tall, 150 pounds. He's wanted for gross misdemeanor theft. Darcy Lee Barnes, age 50. She's 5 feet 3 inches tall, 225 pounds. She's wanted for misdemeanor issuing checks with non-sufficient funds. Robert Vern Bartman, age 39. He's 5 feet 8 inches tall and 280 pounds. He's wanted for gross misdemeanor for issuing checks with non-sufficient funds. Cyril Lee Thompson, age 35. He's 5 feet 10 inches tall, 195 pounds with brown eyes and black hair. He's wanted for first degree DWI, refusal to test, gross misdemeanor for selling or procuring liquor for minors, and trespassing on private property. Brandon Jared Smith, age 28. He's 5 feet 9 inches tall, 125 pounds with brown eyes and brown hair. He's wanted for a misdemeanor traffic violation and theft by issue of worthless checks. Lauren James Smith, age 18. He's 5 feet 11 inches tall, 275 pounds with brown hair and hazel eyes. He's wanted for felony first degree burglary. Joseph Daniel Schultz, age 27. He's 6 feet 1 inch tall, 265 pounds with brown eyes and black hair. He's wanted for three counts of violating a restraining order. With help from viewers like you, the following have been apprehended or cleared their warrants. Sean Edwin John Ormsby cleared up his warrant for numerous traffic violations. Frank Joseph Boyd cleared up his warrant for first degree DWI. Hector Flores cleared up his warrant for aggravated robbery. And Dustin John Camo cleared up his warrants for third degree DWI and fleeing an officer. The Lakes Area's most wanted. We're cleaning up the streets. Remember, if you see any of these people, do not approach them. Call your local law enforcement office. And now, a word from our area law enforcement. Hello, I'm Becker County Sheriff Tim Gordon. I'm here to talk to you today about traffic safety and the different issues that occur this time of year as we get into the uh, late harvest season due to the heavy rainfalls that Becker County received through the month of October and the first part of November. Uh, one thing you've noticed is that the fields are still uh, very active with farmers trying to get their crops off and a lot of trucks and activity out there but uh, one of the um, issues that come from that with the amount of in the excess of five inches of rain this year has been on a lot of mud and clay being brought up onto the road. Uh, two things uh, that the farmers try to do is they try to scrape uh, the excess of mud off of the tar, uh, etc. And they do have the yellow diamonds that say slippery when wet. Uh, the one thing we're asking people to do is please slow down, especially when you're in the rural part of Becker County. Uh, this clay is holding a lot of moisture, the black dirt. It works into the pores of the uh, asphalt and concrete, making for extremely dangerous driving conditions. So reduce your speeds. Uh, it, I do know that the farmers are doing everything in their power to uh, reduce the risk to you as, as a uh, highway consumer. But the issues are we're still seeing excessive speed and with that have 
come several car crashes in the last few weeks. And this will continue through. I'm anticipating most of the month in November. Uh, also, it's that time of year where the deer are becoming extremely active. Uh, we have what's called the rut going on where they're chasing the does. And the deer patterns are being interrupted by uh, the agricultural uh, harvest and hunters being in the field. So now we're seeing deer where they usually aren't uh, up on the roadways. So once again, by reducing speeds, uh, you're going to reduce the risk of having that accident. And if a deer does come up, please do not swerve to avoid it. We have seen more severe accidents, more severe injuries, and more severe damage to cars trying to swerve and avoid and going into the ditch or hitting an approach or actually overturning. Uh, the car can be repaired. Uh, the deer, you know, yes, it is a living creature, but uh, your life is more important to Becker County. So please, uh, you know, drive carefully, slow down, especially in the evening hours, early uh, a.m. dawn hours, and then do not swerve to avoid the deer. Just strike the deer, come to a stop as uh, reasonably quick as possible, and you will find that you'll probably receive less damage to your vehicle and uh, less impact and injury. Uh, to yourself as the driver and or passengers. Thank you for your time today. Thank you for watching the Lakes Area's Most Wanted.